What it, what is performing like for you? I, I, obviously, I, I've never I've never performed, but it, it's obvious that it must be a uh, an intense experience. I can't speak for anyone else, and I don't want to sensationalize it, but it's the most intense experience that there's a compression of consciousness that happens when you perform, and also a sense of. Uh, because of the performing tradition, and I don't know why I feel that way about it, because I don't like to give undue importance to, to certain things, but you feel once you've started performing that you can't, if you thought that you were gonna die on stage, you would just have to die on stage. You can't leave the stage. The show must go on. In a certain sense, but not in that, not in the sort of, not in a Broadway, Hollywood showbiz kind of way. It's a real sense of uh, testing yourself. Have you ever felt in a performance you thought you might die? It's always a possibility. It's always a possibility. Sometimes it seems like you're straining so hard that you could just, you know, pop a blood vessel in your head and fall right over. Hmm. Sometimes you think that, you know, sometimes you have some little twinge, you know, or you get a sudden shooting pain through your neck or your head, you know, and you think you've done it now, you know, you've, and, and this is going to be it, but you can't stop, you know, you have to, you have to keep going. And sometimes that, that's what makes it such a valuable experience, because after you're done, you realize you did something that wasn't simple and that didn't have an easy way out, and you went through it, you went from the beginning to the end.
Is, is healing connected with creativity? I know that I had to do the album at a time where I felt like I needed it, like I needed to heal myself. What kind of difficulty were you experiencing? A general loss of confidence in most of the aspects of my life without actually losing confidence in the, essential, in the essentiality of it. Like I knew I was going to have to survive and I was going to have to go on. But nothing seemed to, I didn't seem to have what to me is, is a really valuable uh, cockiness you have to have sometimes. You have to be able to, to spit in the devil's face. You have to be able to feel, at certain points, so confident that, that nothing can compromise your, your ability to, um, to proceed and finish what it is you're doing. And that felt compromised to me. I felt physically compromised. I felt even mentally compromised. I felt like, to a certain degree, I was in the dark. I want to 